Volume electron microscopy data is typically collected as a series of grayscale images. This stack of images is then converted into a 3D volume. Now, we may be interested in specific features within this volume, say, mitochondria. In order to isolate these features, we need to perform what's called segmentation. Broadly speaking, there is semantic segmentation. In this example, all the pixels corresponding to mitochondria are assigned to a single label or class, and everything else is background. Or there is instance segmentation, where each individual mitochondrion is assigned a unique label. And then there is also panoptic segmentation, where individual mitochondria as well as other classes such as nuclei and cytoplasm are segmented. These are, of course, 2D segmentations on a single image, and you can imagine that accurately segmenting all the mitochondria in the entire image volume will generate not only visually informative 3D renderings, but also these individual renderings of mitochondria can then be used for downstream analysis. Traditionally, segmentation has been done manually, but manual segmentation is extremely time-consuming and prone to errors and biases. Artificial intelligence has tremendous potential here. For example, an AI model that recognizes mitochondria with high precision and accuracy could dramatically accelerate segmentation. There are many related topics within AI. We will focus on two approaches that are typically used in the volume EM field to generate AI segmentation models. In a dataset-specific model, selected or random 2D images from a volume EM dataset are manually segmented and used to train a model. The AI model will often be able to generate high-quality mitochondrial predictions from the rest of that dataset. However, if you now challenge the model with the same task, segmenting mitochondria, but in a different context, say neural or kidney cells, the model typically performs poorly. So you would have to repeat the training process for every new context. In contrast, a generalist model trains on a massive number of images of mitochondria from a wide variety of contexts, images from different tissues, using differing sample prep protocols, imaging parameters, and so on. This takes a while and a lot of resources, but in the end, the generalist model will be able to generate reasonable mitochondrial segmentations on a wide variety of volume EM datasets. Either way, AI models are a powerful tool to accelerate segmentation and are an active area of research in the field.